As a leading global designer and manufacturer of surgical implants for the extremities, Stryker Foot and Ankle is proud to introduce the Anchorage CP compression plates to our Anchorage plating line. This breakthrough design in both Lapidus and MTP configurations utilizes patent pending and buttress lag technology that generates mechanical compression across the fusion site. The Anchorage CP plates use our unique cross joint screw that functions in conjunction with and runs through the plate itself. As the screw seats in the counter bore design, mechanical compression is generated by the linear movement of the secondary bone segment against the stationary plate buttress. These low profile plates with oblique screw design eliminate the need for an independent cross joint screw and provide a stable construct. The Anchorage CP first MTP arthrodesis plate is indicated for stabilization and fixation of fractures, revisions, fusions, and reconstruction of small bones of the feet. The Anchorage CP plate accommodates both locking and non-locking screws in 3.0 mm and 3.5 mm diameters. A release of the soft tissue surrounding the joint is performed using routine surgical techniques. A 1.6 mm guide wire is drilled into the center of the first metatarsal head. A cannulated conical reamer is used to prepare the metatarsal head. The guide wire is then removed and positioned in the base of the phalanx. Cannulated cup-shaped reamers are used to prepare the base of the phalanx. Ream up until the reamer matches the sizing of the metatarsal head. The cup and cone reamers allow for precise reduction and a ball and socket fit of the metatarsal joint. A guide wire can be used as temporary fixation. A locking wire guide is screwed into the template and can act as a joystick to help position the plate on the toe over the first MTP joint. Once positioned, a 1.2 mm guide wire is placed through the hole and into the metatarsal. Once positioned, the template is removed and the CP reamer is placed over the guide wire and advanced until the appropriate depth limit is achieved. After reaming is complete, the guide wire is removed and the plate is positioned using temporary fixation. Beginning at the most proximal hole, locking drill guides are screwed into the plate to allow for precise screw placement. The proximal holes are reamed and a depth gauge is used to determine screw length. Proximal screws are positioned and locked into the plate. Once fixated proximally, the cross joint drill guide is positioned and reamed using the anchorage specific reamers provided in the system. Note, proper placement of the guide is necessary to ensure correct alignment of the plate plate side towards plate. Once reamed, the drill guide is removed and the corresponding hole is measured using provided depth gauge. After screw length is verified, a non-locking 3.0 screw is placed in the hole and advanced across the joint and tightened against the plate. This buttressed lag effect compresses the joint as the screw is tightened. Once the cross joint screw is positioned, remaining holes are drilled and screws are positioned. Verify with x-ray. The Anchorage CP Lapidus plate is indicated for stabilization and fixation of fractures, revisions, fusions, and reconstruction of small bones of the feet. The first tarsal metatarsal joint is prepared, reduced, and temporarily fixated. Once the joint is reduced, a 1.2 mm guide wire is placed through the wire guide and into the metatarsal. The template is removed and the CP reamer is placed over the guide wire and advanced until the appropriate depth limit is achieved. After reaming, the guide wire is removed and the plate is positioned using temporary fixation. Beginning at the most distal hole, locking drill guides are screwed into the plate to allow for precise screw placement. The distal holes are reamed and a depth gauge is used to determine screw length. Distal screws are positioned and locked into the plate. The cross joint drill guide is positioned and reamed using the anchorage specific reamers provided in the system. Note: Proper placement of the guide is necessary to ensure correct alignment of the plate. Plate side towards plate. 
Once reamed, the corresponding hole is measured using provided depth gauge. After screw length is verified, a 3.0 non-locking screw is placed in the hole and advanced across the joint and tightened against the plate. This lag screw approach compresses the joint as the screw is tightened. Once cross joint screw is positioned, remaining holes are drilled and screws are positioned. Verify with x-ray.